It is an optical sensor, uh, very similar to the type being used by the UID AI. This is a sing single fingerprint, uh, single finger capture. Uh, the UID AI uses multi fingers, but for authentication purposes, they will be using something absolutely similar like this one. So it has two LEDs here. The red one means uh, no go, and blue will mean pass. So you saw that blue light flashing. That's my finger, which I have registered. The other finger I have not registered. You can see the red flashing, not registered. The fingerprints are taken and registered on the scanner. In fact, here it's only on the scanner. In the UID system, the scanner is connected to the database. So when you place your fingerprint on the scanner, an image is sent to the database, then it checks whether this particular image which is on the scanner is there in the database. So here what's being done is, the fingerprint is in the scanner. The image is there. So you're taking a plastic, the person is not there. That plastic is being put on the scanner, and if it turns blue, it is recognizing that this fingerprint is registered in the scanner. Now this has, impli this has implications on the manner in which the data is being collected. The data is being collected by employees of a country, an agency. Now it's in their scanner. It is taken then into thumb drives and sent to the UID center. Any number of copies of this can be made. How do you know what's going on? It is leaking. It's leaking like a seam. I asked an RTI to the UID app. While he gets it ready, let me just tell you. Uh, they went all around 200, 300 million people. So I have asked the UID how many duplicates have you found? How many fakes have you found? There is no response. They do not know. There is no answer at all. I have asked them that if it has been used for identifying fake ration cards. Neither the civil supplies department nor UIDA is able to say whether through the fingerprint system any fakes have been identified. I have asked for the data on the pilot studies done by the oil companies at MISO. The oil companies say that the studies are incomplete. UIDA has not replied. The Ministry of Petroleum says they do not know. So, uh so, can you see that blue light? Yeah. 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 When you capture the fingerprints and when you want to authenticate it later, you must keep the fingers in the same manner as you kept it when you originally registered. If you move the fingers this way or that, it will not authenticate. There are immense difficulties in this system. Can you see this as a call? The call is kept on the finger. Can you see the heavy call, please? Yeah, that, that was the that was the print which was authenticated just now. So, although the, this particular person is not present here, it has given a signal that this person is present here.